My name is Roy Bliss. Uh, I'm an educator. Uh, been an educator for over 15 years. I was a teacher, then a principal for uh, seven years. I was an assistant principal for a year, and then now I'm back a teacher, and I teach uh, AP Government and Economics and History, and then also leadership courses at JSU. I'm Sue Bliss. I'm actually from Gadsden or Southside Alabama and I'm in education. I teach math at the seventh grade. Tell me a little bit about your perception of Japan before you came here. I didn't have too many preconceptions but I did however think about the culture of the food um, and the size of everything. Um, I knew that the cities would be larger and I was anticipating that and was anxious to see that um, but I didn't realize some of the accommodations were so small. <laughs> I didn't have too many preconceived notions about Japan. Did a little bit of study before coming as uh, occupational hazard as an educator. Um, most of everything that I know though is from uh, pre-World War II era uh, and so it was really neat to see I guess some differences in what I had studied in the ancient or older aspects of Japan versus the modernization of today. Tell me about what you think about it now. The cities are massive. Tokyo is just tremendous. The size of it, the massiveness, um, but the accommodation still some things are, are really small and, and I guess they're not um, they don't have many, too many people my size, height, and, and things like that. I guess the biggest, I guess, challenge really is the aspect of uh, the food. Um, not that it's too exotic, but it's just uh, so much different than American food. Um, not that I expected anything much different. I mean, I knew it would be different, but um, it is just... Uh, just a, a totality of difference uh, versus going to Europe or something. There's some similarities, a lot more similarities to the Western food. Um, the culture has just uh, been amazing. The people are uh, super friendly, which uh, being an American and coming to Japan, I, I find that a little bit, um, I'm glad, but I find it a little bit odd considering our history with Japan. Uh, that we might see some animosity towards Americans uh, given the uh, 20th century relationship we had uh, that led to World War II. Um, but it's a fabulous place, it's beautiful. Um, the cities are much like any other large city across the world, uh, very congested and busy, no surprises really there. Uh, but I'm surprised, again, I guess the biggest shock uh, would be the uh, friendliness and openness of the people just to be almost people pleasers as we describe them from the West. One of the aspects of why that's surprising is it's a culture in that from an evangelical perspective that would be hard to reach because these people are so I mean, they got signs up in the subway about remember your manners, and there's, their manners are so good, and they're so kind on the most part to one another and to foreigners, and, and so that makes it challenging from a Westerner who might be interested in sharing the gospel with somebody, um, that they, it's harder for them to see their need for a savior because they, I mean, they're, we're good people. We, we do good things to each other, we, you know, if you, if you base a, a, an eternal perspective on works, they, they do it real well. Um, they're very clean, uh, probably some of the cleanest large cities we've seen. So maybe that was the most eye-opening thing for me, was the, the, again, the culture's kindness to one another and then how you would, you know, reach people from an evangelical standpoint. Overall, it's been, been a great adventure. Um, I've enjoyed the sights. Uh, can I get your thoughts on the culture or anything that you thought was strange or that caught you off guard when you came here? Um, I guess all the masks that they wear and as far as they are really health conscientious for 
making sure no one else gets sick and um, which we don't see too much of that back in the States. Uh, when we came into the airport, we had to go through this screening to, for our shoes to clean any, anything off of them before you basically came into the country. And, um, so that, that was a little, little strange. Um, the people have been so friendly everywhere we went, very friendly. Do you think you would ever come back to Japan again? I think so, uh, if I had the opportunity. Uh, potentially have the opportunity in 2020 to come on a mission trip to the Olympics in the Olympic Village. I think so. Um, given the opportunity, possibly on a mission trip or, or things like that, but yes, I uh, definitely would like to come back. And in Tokyo, there's so much more to see. Uh, you can't even begin to touch it within a few days. Um, 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 um